heat wave continues and I'm going to be doing some cooking in the kitchen today. Some more recipes from Deliciously Ella. I think I'm going to try and get through about two. Um, excuse the funny lighting arrangements, but because this kitchen has only got um, spotlights under these shelves and under the kitchen units, it's kind of dark above. So I've actually got another lamp here. I'm not sure how safe it is. There's like an, and, and one just behind you. There's electric cables trailing all over the countertops. Um, but after about an hour of trying to get the light right, I kind of had to give up for now and hope this is okay. Um, and yeah, let's get on with it. So the first one is quinoa tabula. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. It's this here, quinoa tabula. So for this recipe, you'll need one and a half mugs of quinoa, uh, 200 grams of fresh coriander, I'm afraid I only bought bought one sprig of cor fresh coriander and this happens to be something like 50 or 60 grams so it's woefully inadequate but to be honest I just can't be bothered to go back to the supermarket to get some more and you'd need pretty much two or three whole plants to, to get how much to get 200 grams. Um, eight tomatoes, again I bought the wrong quantity, I only have six tomatoes but I'm I can't go back to the supermarket now. Three quarters of a mug of pine nuts, we've got that. Two tablespoons of tahini, I still don't have a tablespoon, I must buy one, so I've just done about three generous soup spoonfuls. Um, juice of, sorry, juice of two lemons, and four tablespoons of olive oil, and then salt and pepper. So now it says to sieve the quinoa until the water runs clear. There doesn't seem to be that much sediment with this quinoa. I don't know if it's just the type I've got. In any case, then you let the quinoa boil for a minute or two and then turn it down so it simmers for another 10 to 15 minutes. And while we're waiting for that, we chop our coriander finely. I'm going to chop the stems as well because um, I'm low on coriander bulk, so what the heck, stems are edible. Get rid of the ends and finely chop. Okay, there goes the quinoa, and now I turn it down, oh dear. It boils over and all the little beads have gone everywhere. Hmm. Okay, I'll have to leave the top off a minute, turn it down to two, okay, finely chop. Okay, coriander chopped, then chop the tomatoes into small salsa like squares, okay? Then Ella says to toast the pine nuts in a dry frying pan. Then apparently the next thing to do is mix everything together. So once the quinoa is soft and fluffy, um, you just mix it all together like a salad. So I'll show you, just trying now, a quinoa ball. Doesn't taste of anything. I just want to say one thing about the pine nuts. Um, you really want to toast them on a moderate, not high heat, because um, I kind of burnt mine a little bit. And also I tried to shake them by, you know, doing what you do with pancakes and it doesn't work. I mean, they all went flying. So now I got quinoa and pine nuts all over the place. So the thing to do, I guess, is just keep shifting them around with a wooden spoon and, um, and just keep them on a moderate heat. And also keep an eye on the quinoa because last time I cooked quinoa um, it burnt on the bottom of the saucepan. So I'm, I'm stirring this around as well with my wooden spoon and just keeping an eye on it. Now, as with uh, lots of Ella's recipes, it's, they're pretty big portions. It says they, 
most of them serve four, um, but I think they're still quite generous portions, even for four people. So get a really big bowl to put your salad in. So now I've got my tomatoes, coriander, um, slightly burnt pine nuts in my salad bowl. I put in the quinoa. This is my biggest salad bowl and I still think this might not be big enough. Oh my goodness, how do I mix this? <clears throat> the answer is, you mix it with great difficulty. And honestly, quinoa has to be the peskiest food I've ever cooked because the bits get everywhere. They get everywhere when they're dry and they get everywhere when they're cooked. <clears throat> so I think for months, We'll be finding little quinoa balls all over the flat because cooking in bare feet, they stick to your feet as well. So there's a heck of a lot of cleaning up after quinoa, although I'll probably put up with it because it's so healthy. And Ella makes it taste nice. Now for the lemon juice, mix this in too. And um, I should say that you really do need the amount of tomatoes in the recipe and you really do need pretty much two or three whole plants of coriander, which is pretty expensive and not something I can afford. Um, um, actually, I'm struggling to afford a lot of these ingredients. And <clears throat> then we pop the olive oil in from my little fish bowl, which I think I got in heels. I love it. Look, there's the fish eye at the there's the fish eye, you probably can't see. I really love this little bowl. Okay, mix this in a little bit. I guess the good thing with a lot of these dishes is that you really can just um, add, add your own things to them. Um, just add some more salad ingredients or even if you're not vegetarian, some, some fish or meat. I mean, Dave and I are not vegetarians, so I think for dinner tonight, I'll just add some tins of fish to this. And, um, or even maybe some, some bacon, sac sacre bleu, but you know, um, because there's a heck of a lot of quinoa at the moment. Yeah, so they're not like fussy recipes like in a cordon bleu cookbook where you have to stick to them and you can't modify them but they give you really they show you how to make the base of lots of things a healthy base so now there's some salt now i'm going to taste some actually really lovely even though I've got even though I've got the temp um, the temperature even though I've got the quantities wrong it's really lovely and <clears throat> I'm not sure if it's the cooked quinoa or it's the tahini but there's a kind of cheesy sorry I'll turn the cooker off musty kind of taste to these cooked quinoa dishes in um, deliciously Ella's book which is great because it's really hard to replicate the taste of cheese in a vegetarian dish, but they really are quite cheesy, <laughs> in a good way, and and savoury. So tahini is a really good product, I've discovered, and coupled with quinoa, they both really complement each other. So this would be a really, really lovely salad with some more leaves and some more salad, some more tomato. Um, or peppers perhaps, and yeah, a success I think.